What's going on guys? This is Tim here with another video about Pittsburgh. Today I wanted to jump in and talk about a really interesting topic in relationship to Pittsburgh. For those of you that don't know, Pittsburgh is known as the City of Bridges. We have over 440, yes you heard that right, 440 bridges in the city. The main reason behind that is because of the geography. We have a unique intersection of three rivers, the confluence, the Allegheny, the Monongahela, and the Ohio River. And given the topography of the area with so many hills and valleys, in order to kind of connect different neighborhoods together, that's why we have so many bridges in this city. So now you know why we're called the city of bridges. We have over 440 of them. So there's five bridges I wanted to talk about that each carry their own history. And I thought it'd be interesting to point it out. So the very first one I wanna talk about, bridge number one, the Smithfield Bridge is the longest in-service bridge within the city of Pittsburgh. This bridge was built on the former site of Monaga Hala Bridge. At the time, that was the city's very first bridge. Now, since then, that bridge has been designated a National Historical Landmark by the American Society of Civil Engineers. That was done in 76. And also another fun fact about that bridge is it's also the oldest steel bridge in the United States. So bridge number two is the 10th Street Bridge. So this is also known as the Philip Murray Bridge. They came up with that name because Philip Murray was the very first president of the United Steel Workers of America. It is the longest bridge spanning the Monongahela River and serves as the only cable suspension bridge across any of the three rivers that we have. The architecture of the bridge resembles the Art Deco period with its stepped appearance within the towers, as you'll see. And this bridge was built in 1933. So moving on to bridge number three. Bridge number three I wanna talk about is the Washington Crossing Bridge or the 40th Street Bridge. I cross this bridge all of the time. This bridge got its name from the historical event when 21 year old George Washington almost died while crossing the Allegheny River during his mission for Virginia's governor in 1753. That's a fun fact. One of the unique things you'll see when you drive across the 40th Street Bridge are the cast iron seals and their representation of the 13 first original colonies. Moving on to bridge number four, the Fort Duquesne Bridge. This bridge was nicknamed the bridge to nowhere during its construction because of many unfinished ramps. The ramps on the northern side were finished in 1986 to connect Pennsylvania Route 65 and Interstate 279. Lastly, bridge number five is the Fort Pitt Bridge. This is probably one of the most chaotic bridges within the city of Pittsburgh. Again, if you've never been to Pittsburgh, this is the bridge that you have maybe 30 feet to cross six lanes in order to get to the airport. Our roads are not the greatest and the bra that, that bridge is one of them. But the Fort Pitt Bridge, this bridge is known for providing a stunning entrance to the city. If you are coming to Pittsburgh for the very first time, that entrance is one of the most spectacular ones you will see anywhere. We are one of the very few cities, honestly the only one that I can think of personally that has a grand entrance once you come through the Fort Pitt Tunnels. The bridge is known for providing a stunning entrance into the city after drivers cross through the Fort Pitt Tunnel. It's also the world's first computer designed bowstring arch bridge and the first double-decker bowstring arch bridge. So we actually have an outbound side, which is on the bottom, and then we have an inbound side to the city, which is on the top. That's the one that gives you the grand entrance when you come into the city. Those are five fun facts about Pittsburgh bridges. As you can tell, Pittsburgh's known for its bridges, and it's kind of our identity. And each one has its own unique individual story. And if you're visiting Pittsburgh for the very first time, or maybe you're just outside of the city, it's worthwhile kind of driving around reading up, visiting the bridges. So thanks for tuning in and I will talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video. Be sure to comment down below and like and subscribe if you haven't already, but comment down below, what is your favorite bridge? My favorite bridge is the 40th Street Bridge, which has those 13 original cast iron seals on them. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bridge is. All right guys, see ya.